nations advance when people come together and look at ways it can grow with articulate discourse and clear position stated. This was the focus of Wema Bank, one of Nigeria's banking institutions that has evolved for seven decades. As it counts down to its 70th anniversary, it had a commemorative lecture anniversary, which had key resource persons come to focus and discuss on why nations succeed. Cerebral scholar and notable global political analyst, Professor James Robinson, gave a key insight lecture on why nations succeed. His book, Why Nations Fail, is a classic which has continued to engage socio-political and economic analysts on developing the economy and political system of nations. The problem in Africa is that historically and until very recently and even in many ways today, African societies, African economies and African polities have not been organized in a way which will create prosperity. But once that gets sorted out, there's nothing that stops Nigeria from being as prosperous or economically successful as any country in the world. And that's one of the conclusions in our book. Also education, panel of discussants, leaders of thoughts, technocrats and notable Nigerians use this opportunity to discuss on how Nigeria can grow based on the analysis developed and posited by Professor James Robinson. All the issues here, I want to limit to three things. Number one, we are a very lazy nation. We have become over-dependent on oil, and we are not aware that this oil will dry up. You can't solve a problem you haven't taken ownership of. And I think that the, the key point in how you move from extractive to inclusive political contexts that then create the institutions. The institutions don't get created simply because you pass laws. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of our people have this fallacy of thinking that if we pass laws and we set up agencies, then we have institutions. That's a lie. But well, the question we ought to ask is, what are the situations that make such things happen? How come in the US, where there's a free market um, economy, innovation can thrive, whereas in other places? And I wonder whether it has something to do with the stage or the phase of development that we are as a nation. Recall that the United States has over 200 years of history of democracy, and we are only 50 years down the line. Looking at it, does that have something to do with how we face that? It's a phased approach, and eventually we will get to that stage. We could wait a lifetime for that to happen. Or we could look at the examples of other nations that have succeeded and say, how do we go on there? Professor James Robinson, Mr. Shagun Lukote, MD, CEO of Wema Bank, and other key resource persons speak on the value of nation building, particularly on how Nigeria can grow as a society. Econ inclusive economic institutions are very crucial for prosperity, but the type of economic institutions a society has come from the political system, come from the nature of political institutions. So to build inclusive economic institutions, you've got to build inclusive political institutions, and that's the big challenge and you know how do you do that where do where do inclusive political institutions come from well typically not from enlightened political leaders it's a political project but it's society that has to build coalitions to generate inclusive political institutions you know if you think about the situation in lagos in the last 16 years very interesting you had two governors tinubu and fashola who've been providing public goods who've been trying to develop both the state and make the state more effective and make democracy work better, make the state less patrimonial. That's building political institutions. It's building inclusive political institutions. And why have they, why have they done that? I think they've done that because there's an immense demand and consensus in society in Lagos that people want public goods, you know, people organize collectively to demand public goods. So, so the politicians, yes, they're doing good things, but they're responding to society. They're responding to a consensus in society that this is the future in Nigeria. This is the future they want for Lagos and 
for Nigeria. Okay, I thought it was a very good discussion, beginning with the guest speaker who spoke a lot, um, drew from his book on why nations fail to highlight to us the things that could make nations succeed. And the things that he speaks about, about economic inclusion and political inclusion, are things that are essential in our country today. However, there are a few other ingredients that need to be in place for us to achieve that. Um, I thought the quality was very high. Of course, reference was made to the critical things essential for nations to succeed. Enforcement of rule, um, the strengthening of institutions, uh, the judiciary and so on and so forth. A lot of emphasis was also placed on uh, the development of a skilled workforce. So all in law, I think it was a very enlightening and um, rich discussion. Fundamental to all this is how can we get people to get this done? And my take is that it's education, that we still have not got to uh, a reasonable level on how education is delivered, both in terms of quality and, of course, level of spread uh, that we have to give to our people who are educated. Of course, we also see that successive governments have been talking of education, but it's much like just a propaganda. When you go down, you know, because I cannot imagine, for example, how uh, governments will not pay teachers, how teachers will not hand their salary. I would have thought that teachers will have their salary first and foremost because of anybody else. So when you say education and the people that are supposed to deliver this, they are supposed to be happy. If they are very happy, then they don't want to do other things. They will not trade. They will not sell shoes and bags. They will sit down and do that. They will be proud. You know? So we need to keep them happy. Education, education, education. I think um, uh, we assembled uh, some of our best and brightest uh, to speak to us. And of course, uh, Professor Robinson and Daron uh, Asemoglu uh, wrote a very insightful, very inspiring book uh, that had dead, deadly blow to a whole lot of myths around what we, <coughs> we believe to be reasons why development is now coming to some part of the world. And um, see him in, in person to share his views, share his thoughts further on the book is quite uh, inspiring for us. And I think it uh, is a, a very, my own assessment is really we can have it better. From this event we see possibilities for Nigeria, particularly as we gear up for a transition to a new government. It is expected that the key focus of today, which looked at inclusiveness, will become the key word for all political stakeholders and every Nigerian.